Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Tribal Hunter. In the last episode, we continued to trek up these mountains, defeated the leader of the wolves, their alpha, and made it through the, the Serpent's Cave. We also ran to Yisya, who gave us some popper mushrooms as a reward for making it this far. And in this episode, we're gonna head to the Splite Statue to activate it, and then we're gonna call Tori. Great bird man. So we're gonna go back to the village because off camera I got some more experience and coins. So with the coins I have, I finally have enough to buy Key's last popper mushroom. All right, that's all of his. And might as well go ahead and get some of these other upgrades, even though I don't need those. All I really got was the mushroom radar, just in case. Okay. We spend some of this money. Cause I got plenty. So I'll upgrade all the stamina of the cows. So now each of the cows can hold 100% more milk than they normally could. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and call the great bird man again. Let's fly! Back to where we were. So yeah, about the experience points that I bought for, I've increased these to level 45 now, and I've maxed out most of the other abilities. Except for you know, the charge, the fatness, and I haven't gotten the spirit fire ability yet. But I've gotten most of the abilities. So anyway, let's go ahead and head on. Slippery death trap. Speaking of death traps, I almost didn't I was too busy paying attention to the, to the name of the level to notice that there was an, a mountain hammer up here. There we go, finally. So yeah, according to the map, there's a big uh, drop-off point. Like, right below us. Hmm. Seems like there's a drop point down there, but now there's bigger axe traps. Ow. Crap. So yeah, if you fall down there, you lose like at least a quarter of your health, which is not good at all. Now I feel like I should go on back to heal. Just from that alone, I've lost half my health. Let's try this again. Hopefully with less suck this time. Whoa. I almost didn't realize there was an ice spike down there. It's kind of like hiding. There we go, there's the mob mushroom. There we go, a lot less suck that time. There's another demo pig up there. Is he tossing grenades? There we go. Stop on you. And there's another spiker. Ow. Yeah, that spiker is really just annoying. It's gonna be a nuisance if I let him live. There we go. Of those ice shards again. Another brawler cow. We got many of these ice crystal shards that are like giving off ice blasts. And then, of course, we got more of these freaking things. Ice horrors. Uh, blaster. There we go. 
Oh, wow! I almost didn't see that. Still ran into it. An ice wall. The icy peak. Oh, treasure chest. <laughs> Funny how that's just unguarded. For no apparent reason. Oh, it's you again. You are almost there. The castle awaits. Where your destiny leads. <laughs> destiny this, destiny that. Are you ever going to be specific? You will know when the time arrives. Just keep proceeding. Details will be nice. Just remember, what seems to be the end isn't always the end. The end is never the end. Also kind of funny how most of the statues are broken and yet this one's whole all the way up here. Funny how that is, but anyway, moving on. Castle Outpost. Getting close. It's almost time for us to go into Dark Dread's castle. <laughs> oh, but first we got these guys. Well, this doesn't look good. So we got a wolf ninja, an ice dragon, and a demo pig, along with some other looking, weird looking character. <laughs> what are these guys up to? <laughs> Stop embarrassing yourself, poor chop. <laughs> that bounty is as good as mine. You won't get the chance to collect after I've blown that lizard to smithereens. I'll send his remains to Dark Dread myself. I'm gonna bury what's left of him in a soup can. No good. Once a spirit enters a new body when defeated. Capturing will be better. Who oh, asked you, you must be at all? Dark Dread told us to drop his spirit into a bottle. We ain't stupid. Our odds may improve if we work together instead of squabbling amongst ourselves. I'm not leaving with split up chump change. No thanks. <laughs> Commissioning bounty hunters to get rid of me? Because Dark Dread isn't as confident as I thought. Oh. Mm. Say, Gary, you read over the bounty post on that lizard, right? What did he look like again? <laughs> Do I have to explain it all again? So the ice dragon's name is Gary. <laughs> He's a reptilian with a surprising amount of hair. Wears a ridiculous hoodie and. <laughs> hey! My hoodie looks way better than what you're wearing, punk! <laughs> it's much! Every hunter for themselves! Oh boy. Yeah, now we got three different enemies to face off against. So I took care of the wolf, took out the demo pig, and now for Gary. Here, have an egg, Gary. <laughs> I think how that one over there is just not doing anything. Anyway, let's go ahead and just get rid of Gary. There we go. Oh, guess I missed one. You're going down, pointy ears. Hold it. Why should I? Weren't you going to hand me over to Dartred a moment ago? It was my understanding that you've been causing mayhem on the island. It's only natural to pursue a criminal, especially when a reward is offered. Are you saying that I'm incorrect on this assumption? <laughs> Dartra is invading the island and depriving the villagers of their resources. You have everything backwards! Hmm. Fair enough. The whole situation seems strange to begin with. Ah, well. Does this mean you'll let me through no problem? Worry not. You'll have no trouble from me. There are plenty of other riches in the mountains for me to collect. Continue on your way, then. Alrighty. So, apparently this guy is not going to kill me. Bounty hunter. I knew the island by boat, and heard it had valuable materials to salvage. Most of the lower lands were picked clean by the pigs, so I traversed the mountain. After the trek, I was approached by Dark Dread and offered shelter at his castle. Soon after, he offered me a job to hunt him. I assumed the stay at the lower island was your doing. But I guess I was misguided. Lord Dark Dread's castle is just up ahead. The watchtower is the first structure just before the bridge. Tread lightly. It's crawling with his loyal minions that lurk in every corner. Be prepared, because I'm positive that there are minimal rest spots. <laughs> Thanks. I won't let them get the jump on me. Alright. Thanks, pointy ears. <laughs> so, moving on to the watchtower. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what's up ahead. Oh, 
let's see. Yeah, I think upgrading one of these would be good. Uh, let's do strength and health. There we go. Get a little bit more out of it. All right. So up ahead, we have the last boss before Dark Dread. It's you again. So, here we are. You really managed to make it all the way to your destination. I guess I get to see how strong you've really come along the way. <laughs> hmm. You're always adding extra steps to my mission. And depending on if you've met his, his if you found the hidden foxhole, which is the, the one with the fox kids that we met, you get different lines here. <laughs> Anyways, how are the kids? Oh, uh, they're fine. You look so stupid being a huge blimp like that. <laughs> well, at least they thought it was funny. They sure did. I wish I had more time to play with them like that. They enjoyed your company. <laughs> Glad I could help, I guess. No matter what happens on this island, I now have a complete escape plan set up. If you fail, we'll be alright. That won't be necessary. I won't fail again. What do you mean, again? You haven't even died a single time in this Let's Play. Sure of yourself, huh? Then let's see. This is the final test. Let this be our final showdown. It'll be just like the other times. Only this time, I will hold nothing back at all. Show me what a Guardian is truly made of. foo ha ha Prepare yourself! So here we go, the hardest battle in the game, in my opinion. The final round against Katsu. So starting off, he throws like three fans instead of one. And now he has new tactics up his sleeve. Like this. You want to avoid being in those crosshairs, because that's when they collide into you. But watch out for those spirit fireballs. Of course, still watch out for his other attacks, like the fan. Ow. I don't know why I didn't try to dodge that. Also, now you can hit all of his clones, and his, all of his clones can now hurt you, which is not good. Although the real one does the most damage, you can actually kill the clones. Alright, now what's he gonna do? Oh, now he's gonna send out fireballs in a random pattern. Huh. If I just stay here, this pattern doesn't hit me. Well, that's good, at least. Whoa. And now it's a triple fan attack. Ow. It's a good thing I increased my defense before this. Alright, and also this battle has two phases. After you get him down to half health, he'll act like he does in the second battle. Hmm. I guess I'll have to power up for you. And also this phase I hate more. No. Let's go. Now he leaves almost no opening whatsoever. And he will do this. Now instead of, he has also has, uh, bubbles along with the air slashes. But if you're the minimum size, you can easily get rid of them with the punches. Oh, he also likes to do the clones again. That's literally like the only opening I find in this battle. Ow. He's a, still a heavy hitter in this phase. I'm trying to, like, stomp on him. Because that's really my only way I can actually hurt him without getting attacked. Still gotta watch out for the bubbles. Okay. Get some punches in while he has the clones out. <laughs> I killed one. <laughs> it's kind of funny how he like, has to split his health in order to get the clones. In the second battle, at least, he left like a one second opening before he actually hit you with his fists. Whereas now, he leaves no opening. So really, the stomp is the only attack I can really get in on him. I consider this to be the hardest fight in the game. Yes, even harder than Dark Dread. Mostly because how heavy he hits and how nimble he is.
Ow. Okay, now he's gonna do this again. Ow. Close. I haven't needed to use my milk yet. And also, I was wrong. I actually did use one milk when fighting against the second phase or, or, or the second battle against him. So, yeah, I've only had to use like one bottle of milk in this entire game so far. Katsu is finally defeated. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Convinced I'm ready for this? Hmm. I guess so. I know you'll do great up there against old Didi. Let me teach you one final thing. Sometimes you can mimic your own magic if you use it the right way. With this knowledge, You'll be able to double up your projectiles sometimes. <laughs> May this work in your favor for the trials ahead. Learn mirror magic! Sometimes projectiles require an additional copy. Thanks for all the help. I really appreciate it. Ah, oh, you're making me blush. What are you going to do now? Well, I'd love to help you, but there's a matter of my contract. Laying a paw on Didi wouldn't be in my best interest. So instead, I leave it to you. Good luck, Munch. So now I have passed all of his trials. All three of his fights have been conquered. Also, if you check your abilities, now these little ones over here now go up to 100, meaning you can upgrade those one final time. Yeah, that was quite a long fight, mostly because I was trying to be cautious of that. So here we go, the Great Bridge. And of course, we still have pig minions in the way. Ow. I mean, you know, you still have pig minions to get rid of right before you actually get to the castle. Because I know in the castle there's going to be new enemies. And they're definitely going to be tougher than they once on this mountain. Probably the toughest you'll face so far. Yep, and there's one of them. A Dragon Knight. At least you can feed him an egg while he's inhaling to breathe fire. Cause that is one thing about dragons, they're walking, talking fire hazards. <laughs> Still get to stomp on him while he's stunned. Cause it's funny how he's trying to like cover himself up because he doesn't have his armor on anymore. Although weird glitch, it kinda still makes the hitting the armor sound when you hit it. He also got annoying belt dragons who just fly around and breathe fireballs to hit you. And up ahead, we have a gas dragon, which he, in he, in he inhales uh, flammable gas in order to breathe fire on you. But the way to defeat him is, while he's sucking in the gas, hit him with three fireballs, and the gas builds up inside him, and he goes out with a bang. And just becomes the size of Belt's dragon. It's also kind of funny how it gets dizzy. <laughs> Yeah, you hit him while he's full of flammable gas, and, well, the gas backfires on him, literally. All of the Dragon Knights, they also like to hit you with their swords. Of course, more annoying Belt's Dragons. Dang, there's a ton of them. At least the shield is helping with the annoying projectiles. Yeah, those swords are pretty powerful. Okay, feed him an egg. And he loses his armor. And there we go. Let's 
suppose there's so many of these. I don't remember that there being this many. Get out of here. Alright, now where's that uh, gas dragon that's over there? There he is. When he's not bringing gas, he'll try to punch you. Anyway, he's bringing the gas again, so we're going to hit him with the fireballs. Yeah, but you want to be a little bit farther away from him when it, after you hit the fireballs with him, because it goes out with quite a big blast. And another flight statue. And a rest point, or checkpoint. And now open the gate to Dark Dread's castle. The castle core yard. And we got another Dragon Knight. Have an egg. <laughs> and that was an example of the mirror magic, so sometimes you'll shoot double the projectiles instead of just the normal one. Another Dragon Knight. Have another egg. <laughs> yeah, take that. There we go. And then right before you can actually get in the castle, the gate will block you. And then you will have to fight a few more enemies. Three ice dragons. And now I'm kind of surrounded. And they're both using the Ice Storm. There we go. Just like one them out. Well, that's their Ice Breath attack if you don't feed them an egg in time. There we go. Now to get rid of this last one. Because all three of them have to be defeated in order for the gate to open. Also, now that I have a thousand, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the charge ability. And now entering the castle. The piggy foyer. Halt there, newcomer! <laughs> ah, first guy of the castle, eh? I am Dark Dread's proud kobold minion. I got a mission to serve him here in this castle. <laughs> oh, well. I'm actually here to fight him. You know where he is? What? Please don't hurt the master. He's really nice when you get to know him. He took me in, gave me a job and food. Also, his mom makes the best cookies. Master shares us, them with us sometimes. <laughs> Apparently his mom's a good cook. <laughs> Sorry, I can't bear his evil deeds as a guardian of this island. I need to deal with him for my village. Please, can't you two talk it out first? He really is a nice guy once you get to know him. He has really shown me great kindness. He can be quite the big softy. <laughs> I already tried that before. He himself said he didn't have time to talk to me and just beat me up. Well, if that's how it's going to be, you, you, you're gonna have to go through me first. Okay then. Hey, wait! <laughs> yeah, you can literally just walk past him. Oh, I can actually wall jump up here. Of course, he's got the big axe, tra axe traps in here. Ow. And spike floors. So this is literally a hallway of traps. Oh, now we got a spike floor guarding a crate. Well, you gotta hit the thing with fireballs. Also notice how they're metal plated now, which means they take more hits to get through. And also, I just realized that crate's full of meat, so it's gonna fill me up once I break it open. We got more traps. So yeah, in Dark Dread's Castle, there's gonna be a lot of cheap tricks, like trying to hit you with traps and make you get too big in corridors like this. So you always gotta watch what you're doing. And another one of these. There's a spike trap guarding a crate. Although sometimes if you wait long enough after the food spawns, the food just disappears. There we go. And money! Yes. Always good to have money. And now I actually deal with the pigs in the piggy foyer. Also, some of the demo pigs now have jetpacks. Which is not fair, considering now their shots are harder to dodge. Uh, 
There we go. Once you defeat them, their jetpack explodes and they just become a normal pig again. Another pig hammer. Mountain pig hammer. And there you go, there's another jetpack pig. Who still throws freaking grenades. Not very nice. This is annoying, kind of like the Belcher Dragons. And of course we got a cow brawler. Another one on his jetpack. I don't think it's like jetpacks in this one. Ah uh -huh. Oh boy, more of them. More demo pigs. At least take out the demo pig first. That way the grenades aren't as annoying. For the fighters. And another jetpack pig. Or demo pig, really. Stop throwing bombs at me. That is not very nice. That's one. And there goes the other. And now for the last pig hammer and fighter in the way. Open the lever to make a shortcut so you can easily get through this area. I'm also going to upgrade the fastest ability. So, maximum attack when I eat food. Also, the music is pretty epic in this area. Once again, this is World 9, Dark Dread's Castle. Yes, once we get to the top, the final boss battle will await us. We must take care of Dartred once and for all. Now going up here, we have the Hallway of Pain! Basically just another hallway of traps. And more pig minions, including a freaking jetpack demo pig. Ow. There we go. Watch out for the spinning axes. And of course there's more of those jetpack demo picks in here. There we go, take you out. And of course there's another one. There are too many of these guys. There we go, took him out. Uh oh. You won't, don't want to be in the floor too long of this room, because there's a bunch of spike traps at the bottom. Alright. So, this castle also involves going into certain rooms just to activate levers to get to the next level. There's still plenty of pig minions here. I expected there would be a lot more dragons. Considering Dark Dread's castle, Dark Dread is a dragon. And there's another demo pig. Okay, and then hit the switch, and that should open the gate. That's at the end of the level. Alright, moving on to the next room. The Explosive Ballroom. And the reason- there's a reason they call it the Explosive Ballroom. Dang, all three pig chefs. A pig chef, a pig gourmet, and a deviled ham. Yeah, there's also a lot of kitchen rooms in this one. So, another cheap trick is just trying to stuff you full of food and make you explode that way by eating too much. But anyway... After I digest this, you want to know why they call this the Explosive Ballroom? Yep, that's right. The bomb dolls are back. They're just as explosive as ever. Also, now there's like certain crates filled with them. 
if you break those open, a certain amount will pop out. Like, these wooden ones, I think three will pop out if you do that. There's also these Belcher Dragons in here. Funny how they're not explosive. Belcher Dragons are more annoying in my opinion. Because the way they fly around to follow you, it's a little bit annoying to try to hit them. Oh, now they have these flamethrower traps that kind of look like Dark Dress Head. Ow! I, I was trying to avoid the flamethrower trap, but I ended up getting hit by the explosion. So, case in point, the explosion just does a ton of damage to you. The Belcher Dragons are still annoying. There we go, check out that bomb doll. Might as well take out this brawler cow just to get some health back. Yeah, you can break open these crates if you want to. I don't really find much point in it though. Unless you just want to deal with a bunch of bomb dolls. Maybe hit the switch. Get out of here before all those bomb dolls explode. Stupid flamethrowers. Anyway, moving on. Mass Catering Assembly. So, the reason this room is called that is because there's a lot of food in this room. There's also a lot of food-loving enemies, like pig chefs and pig gourmets. And of course, the deviled hams. And there's also food cannons! Yeah, Tor Toria really has, uh, has done a, a lot for this place, apparently. Because apparently the minions here also like food cannons. Although you can't deflect the food that's here. Wait, can you? Oh, you can. You can deflect the food. I thought you couldn't for some reason. I thought you could only deflect the food in Toria's fight. Okay, fine. Make a liar out of the game. Yeah, the food cans will constantly keep stuffing you and shooting you with food. Just to keep you from moving on to the next area. If you have the fast digestion, then you can easily you know, counter out the fact that the food cans shoot you so much. Unfortunately, that's not working because there's like two of them shooting me at the same time. So I'm gonna go over here. Now that one over there is it's still able to hit me. I'm gonna go for this crate, full of meat. And another devil ham. And now I need to digest again. So yeah, if you're not careful, this these rooms will like either kill you or fill you up to try to will stuff you too much very quickly. Always be cautious. Be careful of what can kill you and what can easily fill you up too fast. There's also those devil hams drop a lot of food when they get defeated. Kind of like the gourmets. Of course, those cheap flamethrower traps. It's almost like I need to climb steps just to get past them. World's View Balcony. So we kind of have a rest point here. Oh, so now we have kind of a little couple here. It's official. This is by far the worst vacation we've ever had. It wasn't all that bad. Oh, and what, pray tell, makes you say that? Was it the part where the village we were staying at got raided? Was it being trapped in a mine and having to crawl on all fours through a secret tunnel we found? And once we finally got out, we were almost skewered by pirates? How about being harassed by ghosts in a haunted forest? And fleeing for our lives from ter territorial bees the size of people? Was it trudging through snow and ice without proper winter clothing? Or was it making the mistake of thinking that whoever owned this castle would be willing to help us? And instead, we ended up getting chased about until we found the secret abode and had to hide like a pair of stowaways. What part of that whole miserable experience wasn't so bloody bad? <laughs> Despite everything, I still have you. Why do you make me feel petty, love? Don't worry about it, dear. 
I won't pretend that this vacation wasn't as relaxing as I hope it would be. <laughs> Maybe our little friend over there can help us. What are you- Oh, I didn't hear you come in. I doubt that's the case. With our luck, he's in the same situation as we are. I just hope no one followed him. <laughs> I'm here to stop the evil Lord Dartred, master of this castle. <laughs> this is a dangerous place. I can escort you after it's all done. <laughs> really? I mean, do you think you could stand a chance against a monster like him? <laughs> His minions have been no problem so far, so I doubt he'll be a problem. <laughs> that would solve all our problems. Thank you. <laughs> We can hold out a little longer, so don't worry about us. <laughs> we'll wait here until you teach that draconic tyrant a lesson. And of course we have another checkpoint and a flight statue, just in case you want to go back to the village. <laughs> How goes it? Bad vacation. Did you say you guys were here on a vacation? Uh, I heard about this place from one of my employees. Said they were here last year. It sounded like a lovely place to visit. It was nice at first, but then the pigs came. We ran to the forest and got badly lost. We tried to hide in the mines, and that worked for a while. But as soon as the coast seemed clear, they blasted it shut. So we had to find another way out. All while avoiding more pigs, slimes, and strange crystal creatures. I mean crystal robots. Robot. Thankfully, my husband found a secret passage out. It was so narrow, we had to crawl on our hands and feet for what felt like hours. Beach and hive. <laughs> Any other places you've been? <laughs> Once we got to the beach, I thought we could start to have fun again. Or at least have a breather before walking back to the village. But well... <laughs> yeah, I've seen those pirates. They're really dangerous. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Neither of us were keen on being sh shanked by sabers, so we ran to the forest. Only to find out it was haunted. <laughs> and from there to a cave connected to the heart of the mountain. <laughs> I had no idea a beast could get so big. Or so unfriendly. Tell me about it, dude. You'd be surprised at how tedious running for your life becomes eventually. It was like a comedy of errors. Without the comedy. The only place the bees stopped chasing us was the top of the mountain. I suppose they can't stand extreme cold. It wouldn't be so bad, but neither of us thought to pack winter clothes. And even if we did, our luggage is still back at the village. We thought that maybe we could take shelter in the castle up here. <laughs> Guess you've been having a bad vacation here. <laughs> Unfortunately for us, this place is decidedly less abandoned than we previously thought. I'm not sure how long they chased us, but we managed to lose them and have been hiding in the storage area ever since. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Looks like you guys went through every place on this island. Just like I did. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> Either way, we're never coming here again. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> After I beat down Lord Dartred, this island will be a much, a much safer place. <laughs> More tourists can visit and have a good time. <laughs> we hope so. And we'll be very grateful for that. Good luck. So yeah, I have to learn that little story about that animal couple right there. And also, for making it this far into the castle, I think we've earned ourselves a place to end this off here. So, next time on Tribal Hunter... We are going to continue through Dark Dread's castle, hopefully find him, and then put an end to this once and for all. See you guys on the other side. One day, at the Wolfen Clan headquarters. 
So, Super Cow can use its own milk as a power source, right? Yes, but it can also produce milk infin infinitely, so we can't drain it. Hmm. This gives me an idea. If you can't drain it, then think about it in reverse. Infinite milk with nowhere to go. <laughs> a few days later at the cow farm. This year's harvest festival was a huge success. Are you alright though? You look like you've gorged up way too many veggies. Excuse me. No worries, Captain. I'll be able to produce a lot of top quality milk. That's what we expected. <laughs> you must be the boss of the Wolfen Clan. I'm going to end your evil plan here. <laughs> Not so fast. Guys, now's the time. Get Super Cow! What is that device? This won't stop me! Oh, it's simply to buy us some time. Gotcha now, Super Cow! Take this! Huh? What now? A metal plate girdle? Yes, it covers your udder nicely, doesn't it? Now the milk you produce will have nowhere to go. <laughs> Super Cow, your body is expanding! I... didn't expect this! I can't get this girdle off! Haha, <laughs> look at you now! A giant milk balloon! Soon you'll pop and destroy this farm! I feel... too full! Our hero is in great danger! Can Super Cow escape Dr. Sharptooth's trap and save the day? Find out on the next episode of Mighty Flying Super Cow!